everyone welcome back okay today three cards fell out so I'm taking these somebody's pretending or pretending to themselves that getting back together with you wouldn't work out but that's not how they really feel okay six of cups has come out in the present energy they miss you you know they're thinking about the past they're thinking about all the things that you used to do together but they're pretending that they don't love you and they don't care about you okay this is somebody who hasn't given you proper closure here world in reverse there's definitely a zillion unanswered questions here i'm not sure i'm going to go through the energy get another deck out i'm not sure if this is a reconciliation they're actually going to take forward or whether they're just going to daydream about it but they are literally lying to themselves Okay, this person is lying to themselves. They miss you like crazy, absolute crazy. Um, but like I've said, they're just trying to convince themselves that you're too different, that your personalities don't gel. So let's have a look and see what is going on. I think today really um, what I'm looking at is, are they going to do anything? Are they going to actually do anything? And if there's any sort of block that I can see that possibly is stopping them coming forward. So we'll just give these a quick shuffle. Just while I'm doing this, I hope you're all well, wherever you are. Thanks so much for watching, your likes. I read all your comments. Thank you so much. If you'd like a personal reading, if you just click on the title, it's all in the description box. And also the free relationship report. Okay, let's have a look right yeah you know i was i was just channeling really that they they feel that your personalities are very different that's what they are convincing themselves i'm almost hearing to stop themselves going mad because they've made a massive mistake leaving you okay they think that you're too nice for them that you're too good for them and that they can't make you happy but on the other hand no one understands them like you do, okay? They really do not feel that they're good enough for you, which, you know, depending on your breakup, it's a general reading, there's definitely here a lack of closure or a cycle where it just kept repeating itself, you know, they'd promise to change or they'd make promises they didn't keep, you know, dangling the carrot kind of thing, but you never actually got to touch the carrot. You know, it was just always, oh, we'll do this or we'll do that, you know, that kind of energy. But they don't think they can make you happy and that you're too good for them. They're lying to themselves about how they feel though, okay? On the one hand, I think what they're projecting out to other people, specifically today, is that they're happy doing what they're doing, their life's balanced, and that they're comfortable where they are. They could have even told you that they're quite happy where they are, or they don't want to see you again, or they don't want to speak to you, that kind of energy, or you're seeing social media stuff that they're, they're just content, you know, they're just doing their thing, you know, walking their own path. But that's not how they feel, okay? You know, the world in reverse in the future, that is an element of, like I've said, unfinished business with a chance. But we'll have a look. Maybe they might come back in, all right? But they definitely don't think they're good enough for you at the moment. Um, probably because they didn't give you the closure and you know they could be attached to somebody else at the moment i don't always say this those of you who watch me regularly know that but i feel they could be attached to somebody else at the moment and they feel that it's too little too late from them and they've now got all this other baggage and all they can really do is almost daydream about you okay also i'm hearing that you were quite quite an achiever your energy who i'm reading on today you like to achieve things you like to get things done okay there was an element of them where they were quite happy being comfortable they were, didn't always want to take certain risks that you wanted to take to maybe you wanted a bigger house or 
maybe you wanted to move and they didn't want to leave the hometown or somewhere where they were familiar with the Six of Cups. They were quite happy doing what you'd always done. Okay, so the relationship could have been okay, but like I'm just getting, they didn't want to take it further or they weren't, they were too, too attached to maybe members of their family or maybe just, like I've said, somewhere where they grew up or they spent a lot of time. Whereas your energy is one that wanted to do more. You felt more, you saw more, you know, which is brilliant. You know, absolutely brilliant. And I think that is part of the problem. They like to just be comfortable, okay? So let's see. Let's see what else they'd like to say. Let's see what they'd say. Three cards, please. Gossip, I'm afraid of what other people will think. Mm, okay. Reminiscing, yeah, that's, for me, is always equal to the Six of Cups in this deck as well. Um, I miss our inside jokes. They just miss you. But they're just lying. They're lying to themselves. And they're lying to other people. I wish I could right my wrongs. That's the lack of closure, you know, that that's just the fact that it didn't have to end the way it ended. All right, I just want another tarot deck out for that. That it didn't have to end the way it ended. Can you just give me some on this last row, please? Yeah, they were quite selfish. They put their own physical needs before sorting things out with you it's almost like what they're portraying or what you even know about i do feel they've gone into something else here possibly another connection and you've just watched them sitting pretty almost okay like they've seen some i'm just hearing photographs so that could be social media but this is really specific you have seen something that has portrayed to you that they're just okay without you, okay? And they feel now that it's too late, that they cut you off, they went into a new situation, um, and it's that saying, I'm all right, Jack, you know, I'm okay, I'm doing fine. As long as the energy again, I'm gonna repeat this again, because it's really key, I think, to this reading. This is somebody as long as they're comfortable and their physical needs are being met, whether it be a house, a job, I don't know, watching the television, as long as they're just really sort of comfortable, they don't almost want to grow anymore. Okay? They don't want to grow anymore. I think they regret not pushing themselves harder to do something that they promised to do within your connection, okay? They could have, this is just an example of this energy I'm channeling, kept going for job interviews and they might have got offered the jobs but they didn't want to take any of them because they'd have had to have got out of their comfort zone. This person likes to be in their comfort zone, okay? They regret not trying harder. Now, in your energy, what I'm hearing is that although you love this person very much, the lack of oomph, shall we say, did stifle you a bit, okay? And your energy is almost, would this even work out? Because since this ended, because you've had to give yourself closure here, you've had to just really give yourself closure, which isn't easy you're not even sure if you'd want to go back to the past because definitely in the past for somebody here watching this today decisions were made um you know a hit list of notes were made of um, i'm seeing a list of of jobs to do that would have moved a certain situation forward but it never happened you were the only one doing anything okay i'm not saying this person's toxic i don't get that they're toxic Lazy, possibly. Lazy, I think, really, today. Um, but they... You could have just been running around after this person, okay? While they just sat pretty. 
you know just watching the television I just heard so let me see what the blockages are today what blockages have we got Pete? oh that's too many oh no it's not we'll take them right yeah nine of swords death okay blockage this relationship two things here this relationship caused you a lot of anxiety and sleepless nights okay this person caused you a lot of worries that you would you were just always worried you know it wasn't a relationship especially towards the end where you were relaxed you were always like okay is this going to happen are they going to do what they said they're going to do with regard to their blockages so they're very anxious very nervous you are definitely definitely in their head but what the blockage is with the death 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 card here i feel is they are very anxious about the way this connection ended see death is an ending card okay but i'm going back to this world in reverse it was a lack of closure so they are very anxious very nervous about the mistakes that they made in the way that they ended the connection with you okay that is the main blockage today they are hoping that the relationship you have with them even though you're not together is still hanging on by a thread okay they are hoping deep down this is what they're daydreaming about that that door's still open for them even if it's only about that much okay but instead of doing anything they are fantasizing about the past they are reminiscing they are living in their own little bubble all right and on top of that they are very very anxious very nervous they've even gone beyond the point of kind of not being able to see a way out they're just literally sitting there possibly writing emails they don't send writing letters they don't send text messages whatsapp messages just not sending it it's like they're paralyzed with fear okay because of the way it ended okay let's see what else he'd like to say to you what else would this person like to say please i love you they do love you yeah they do love you i'm not sure though with you you might be of the essence now that you know is anything ever going to change is anything ever going to change because relationships do change there has to be growth people change as we get older we're not the same as we were say in our 20s when we we're in our 40s or 50s we all change and that's the key with relationships you know some work and some don't but you wanted to grow you didn't want to stay doing the same thing day in day out you had dreams and you had plans and they went along with them and maybe even on a few occasions you felt they were going to do something but they didn't it's like you could smell success you and this person could have had everything that's what I've just heard. You could have had everything. But it was always, there was always something that just got in the way. Always something. I feel they went to another situation because it was easier. Because somebody else that they've connected into, romantic, whoever it is, it's easier for them to get their needs met by this situation they're in than you. So if they just want to not work very hard or they just want to watch the television or they just don't really want to do anything outside of what they want to do, they're getting away with it where they are. But what they're missing with you is your drive and ambition. Okay. Anybody can meet anybody I just heard, but they're, they're not you. They're not you. This person's not you. Okay. 
Mm. Right, let's have two more of these, please. I am becoming a better person. They're trying to heal, but they want to take back their words, okay? So they're in this energy. I think what we're going to do now, let's just cut to the chase. Which deck should we use? And let's see what they're going to do, if anything. Okay. What's this person going to do, please? Page of, ooh, page of cups. How's that going to go? Yeah, they've got a decision to make. Okay. Right. This is interesting. I see them coming in eventually with some sort of a message, probably a small message, a little bit emotional, to tell you how much they love you, okay? They're going to leave the situation that they're in at the moment, or they're going to be willing to leave it. However, I feel for some of you today, you might have moved on, okay? That you, this won't be enough for you. This is what I'm really getting today, that it is too little, too late, but I just think it's deeper than that. I feel what's happened here for maybe two people who are watching this today is that you miss this person for a long time without this closure, okay? you had it, it took you a long time to move on. It took you a long time to heal, but you have now. And I don't feel today that you have any grudges towards this person. I feel that you have just let it go almost and that yes they will come in with a message and yes they will they do see you as the empress you know you are the one for them possibly because you were the stronger one in the relationship I keep going back to this but it's a message today that you were the stronger one you were the one that oomphed it along, you know, I feel they relied on you a lot, almost like a mother figure in a way, not that they didn't love you or it wasn't passionate, but you were the one that had to take the lead, okay, let's put it that way, let's put it that way, and I just see this message coming in, okay, they're going to tell you they're going to leave the situation they're in, or they're going to start putting feelers out but I just see you finding the strength to say no to them okay let's just have three of these please before we wrap this up today yeah they are going to open up to exchanging gifts they're hoping that you will open your heart to them, like I got earlier, like a little chink of light. I hear in chink of light that there's just that little bit of hope that you'll still have the door open. But TikTok, you've been waiting for ages for this. You've been very patient. I just feel that for the, a lot of you, you probably... I think you'll be pleased to hear from them in some ways, which there's nothing wrong in that at all, especially with no closure. But it's almost like time's gone on too long now. Time's gone on too long. Yeah, and you're just going to ask, well, why? why? Why resurrect this now? Especially, specifically for those of you where you've been back and forth a few times. You'll just be like, why? All this time has gone by. I've waited so long. I've been really patient. I asked you for closure. I asked you just for a few words or a few breadcrumbs. You didn't give them to me. You just went somewhere else, you know, sitting with your feet up, living the good life, while I ended up with just a load of memories and no closure. And why would I want to walk back into that? Okay, that's what I've got today for you all. They are going to message bottom of the deck eventually. Yeah, they're going to ask for a reconciliation. They're going to tell you that they're willing to build a strong foundation now. Um, and that they've got all the skills. But I think they've told you this before. 
and in the end you just thought the relationship was like a building site with them just sitting on the job not really doing a lot i just heard so i shall leave that with you anyway thank you so so much for watching and you know take good care whoever this is for today you've really pulled your own self together here you've realized you're very comfortable just doing your own thing now as well i just feel that it's been a long haul for whoever this is for today and you've really you just got you know you've got yourself together um no no thanks to this person you know like i said earlier it's not toxic i don't feel toxicity but i do feel I think giving people closure or having a, an adult conversation, um, if it's not a toxic relationship, is really the decent thing to do. Obviously, if you're leaving someone who's a narcissist or they're abusive, well, no, you don't know anybody any closure. You just do what you have to do. There's different circumstances with different relationships. But in today's reading, it was just someone I feel who didn't give you the closure and they should have done okay they should have done so leave that with you take good care just remember you're on the pedestal and just remember how amazing you are you know just just for existing okay always remember that okay love you all bye